हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अमित कटोच एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी चंडीगढ़ डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड बी टेकिंग द मॉड्यूल ऑन ए कागो एक्सेप्टेंस अंडर द पेपर कागो ऑपरेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट After completing this module the students will be able to learn about basic principles of air cargo transport advantages and disadvantages of air cargo transport air transport governing bodies basic rules and regulations air cargo environment hazards air cargo containerization and finally development of common user domestic air cargo terminal that is cudct firstly i would start with a brief introduction the cargo transport and logistics sector has gone a sea change and choice of mode has changed from surface to sea or sea to air depending upon the type of load utility and duration of delivery in the present time the air cargo service has become popular and fast option for the shippers as there has been a phenomenal increase in the aircraft capacity of carriage regularity of lifts ease of handling and reach to many destinations also the air cargo losses can be controlled more easily and properly as compared to other modes of transportation and hence if the hazards are minimum cargo able to survive the harsh journey and there is loss free delivery the shipper will choose that mode only further insufficient packing material and inappropriate marking of cargo can also lead to loss of the cargo therefore these are the issues where the shipper can successfully persuade the sound arrival of goods now i will discuss about basic principles of air cargo transport the standards rules or laws laid down for the air cargo transport has been laid down by icao iata and dgca in case of india the saps that is standard and recommended practices for the international and national carriage of cargo passengers and aircraft crew has been enlisted in annexure 9 that is facilitation to the convention of the international civil aviation organization chicago 1944 and amended from occasion to occasion or time to time it does not mean that there can be no deviations from those rules the government of a particular country needs to notify icao with regard to it and the differences in the standard procedures can be published in a suitable supplement to annexure 9 all the cargo before transportation should be packed and labeled properly also the weight of the load of cargo has to be properly calculated and should be tidy enough to bring no contamination in the loading compartment due to dirty pallet wet cargo or dirty tarpaulin etc the handling instruction on cargo should be strictly adhered during carriage and transportation which further is determined by the type of cargo the cargo handling is different for dangerous goods human remains or live animals along with all these aspects the documentation of the cargo should also be proper complete and correct now i will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of air cargo transport very briefly the air cargo transport is most suitable for long distances it is fast and the modest mode of transportation for cargo but contrarily 
the costing of air transport is high at the same time there is narrow load capacity and highly it is highly dependent on the nearness of the destination to the airport loading capacity the loading capacity depends on maximum take off weight maximum landing weight maximum zero fuel weight basic weight of aircraft fuel number of packs or passengers weight of cargo and mail safety margin typical structure dimensions of cargo hold dimensions of cargo doors of the plane weight per square yard or meter per longitudinal yard or meter air transport governing bodies firstly iata that is international air transport association an association which mainly focuses on linear international schedule full time service to members and complete voting rights in every operation iata's main organs are general assembly executive committee and iata secretariat located in montreal and geneva the main targets of international air transport association that is iata are exchange of information in airlines is cooperative friendly relations with international organizations rate to be standardized for cargo transport condition iata rule setting to be followed simplification of reciprocal accounts further the role of the air cargo forwarder or the iata cargo agent it mediates transport and represents air cargo also represents his client shipper consigner but it is not mandatory to be accredited with an iata agent in order to handle air cargo now the duties of iata cargo agent he is ready for carriage of goods obey the iata rules clearance or settlement of all freight charges claimed on behalf of airlines in time also violation of rules can lead to denial of agency so all these aspects have to be followed by iata cargo agents now i will discuss about icao that is international civil aviation organization it was established under the 1944 chicago convention it is a subdivision of united nations it regulates the international space aircraft cabin crew cabin crew ground staff and all aspects related to civil air operation navigation and surveillance now the basic rules and regulations with regard to the cargo bulk shifting ava bill helps in air cargo acceptance as well as acts as the contract of carriage the transportation of dangerous and hazardous materials is done in tandem to the regulations of icao and dgc for the transport of goods from origin to destination the tariff rates and charges apply the gen or general commodity rates apply for all the commodities apart from the goods or commodities not accepted for carriage the scr or specific commodity rate apply on specific commodities and are dissimilar from the general rates the pri or the priority general commodity rate applies to the shipments of priority and hence for priority commodities the gen or scr will not apply other rules and regulations include the pri or the priority general commodity will have precedence over the general commodity rate under the rule g7 a request for priority service is not a reservation and does not make any assurance that the commodity of priority 
will be or will journey on a particular flight the priority shipments need to be sent at least 2 hours prior to flight departure on the available shipper should write priority flight number and gate for which the space has been asked for if the priority rate for a sector that is origin and destination is non published then the rate is charged 150 times or 150% of the general rate which also includes the minimum charge in case the transporter fails to transport the commodities on the wished flight the shipment will continue to remain as a priority commodity unless asked by shipper to do so now i will discuss about accessorial services accessorial charges are defined as a carrier's charge for accessorial services such as loading unloading pickup and delivery in simple words these are the services charged other than the transportation services such as sorting packing unpacking extra pickup long carry pre cooling heating elevator and storage etc the cargo companies provide services like assembly disassembly or distribution of shipments and charge tariff rates for these services apart from it apart from it other charges such as service charge or other charges are also included in it the rates and charges vary from one organization to the other depending upon the nature of service and the type of delivery the accessorial charges are charged for the accessorial services like able preparation fee arm special handling automated export system filing that is aes barrel purchase cca that is change of awb upon customer request cold storage imports after 12 hours consolidation fee courier fee customs palletizing depalletizing fee dangerous goods fee depending on the class dry storage freight collect charge fuel surcharge based on chargeable weight import service charge isc oversize shipments pba fee uh, due agent fee that is uh, peak season fee security fee and uld demurrage if there is more than one shipper then consignee has to notify cargo company about the shippers and shipments the cargo consolidators or companies involved in cargo transportation charge the accessorial charges for port to port services for transport these are the charges charged for additional services given such as packing and crating consolidation door door pick up bunker charges terminal fee transfer fee etc other charges such as termination fees customs fee import duty waiting time storage extra fuel and other charges may also be levied now i will discuss about air cargo environment hazards firstly in the aircraft to avoid environmental hazards acceleration or deceleration fore and aft pressures are applied on cargo for the duration of take off and landing compression forces are applied at some stage in rough landings flight conditions with turbulent subject cargo to rapid alternating vertical movements imposing heavier pressure one movement and almost weightless condition the next moment with increase in altitude the atmospheric pressure decreases subjecting the liquid cargo to leakage hazards and pressurized cargo to increased internal pressure aircraft cargo compartment temperatures normally range between 30 degree fahrenheit and 70 degree fahrenheit that is minus 1 degree to 21 degree centigrade however cargo aboard 
and aircraft parked in freezing or very hot weather will be subjected to unusual cold or heat conditions. Cargo compartments of air freighters are by and large ready for adequate storage. Their belly compartments in an airline where limited air cargo can only be uploaded. In terminals to avoid environment hazards, handling of the cargo done at both big and large airport terminals. The terminals may, depending upon the type of service, may be fitted with conveyor systems and mechanical cargo handling gear leading to fast and secure movement within the terminal. The manual terminal handling of cargo involves the stacking of cargo on pallets and in containers. Storage of cargo at terminals involves security areas where the cargoes are kept depending on the type of cargo. In case of some perishables, the storage of commodities being done in the reefer facilities or containers if the terminals are not equipped properly then in that case the cargoes are subjected to robbery, pilferage or loss in value. Security conscious carriers provide maximum physical measures to protect cargo from theft or pilferage. Dangerous goods are hazardous materials which require special care and trained human resource in their handling. The instructions are given as per ICAO or IETA guidelines for the safe and secure transport of dangerous goods. On the trucks to avoid environment hazards, the air cargo reaches the destination through trucks which carry air cargo from warehouses to carrier or consignee by truck. Cargo should be packed to withstand the stacking up to 8 feet high pressure from adjacent cargo, crushing action of tie down straps, manual handling and exposure to the elements. Palletize, unitize and containerize to minimum manual handling, reduce incidents of lost or stray items, limit exposure to theft and pill fridge and minimize storage damage. Provide water protective coverings which will accompany pallet and unit loads on entire journey. Liquid cargo to avoid environment hazards. While transporting the containers filled with liquid cargo, avoid completely filling them as some space may give some leverage to the cargo or to the liquid cargo to expand in case of change in temperature or pressure. Also, all the seals, walls and caps should be firmly clogged and also proper marking made outside the container to keep the cargo stakeholders informed about its nature and type. Large, heavy or awkward cargo to avoid environment hazards. The carrier has to be checked to establish permissible aircraft flow weight concentrations for easy of mechanical handling, provision of skids, also checking the dimensions of the cargo so that it easily transports all the way through aircraft loading doors. Make available sufficient sites. Water damage protection to avoid environment hazards. The cargoes should be protected from water damage by packing them in wooden crates which are further covered with a film of polythene or waterproof papers. Line not impregnated fiberboard boxes with waterproof paper or polythene. Large cargo commodities can be masked with polyethylene sheeting and it should be ensured that there are drain holes on the base of the grid. Also use moisture absorbing material or desiccants along with waterproof obstruction wrapping to prevent moisture sensitive materials or cargoes. 
also to cover unit and pallet loads usage of shrink wrap plastic shroud or stretch wrap perishable cargo to avoid environment hazards in the case of perishable commodities good ventilation should be provided to them and the suitable instructions with regard to their carriage and temperature maintenance taken into account always transfer the products in direct flights and further their delivery and pick up intimately intimately timed with aircraft departure and arrival markings to avoid environment hazards no marking or advertising material with the cargo material should highlight the valuable nature of the material apply proper coded recognition marks on its three sides and usage of international handling symbols for carriage along with handling instruction in english or the language of destination country and usage of good quality inks and waterproofing labels outside the cargo's packing to ensure safety and security of the shipment now i will discuss about air cargo containerization all the cargo transported from one place to another are containerized to minimize loss of cargo along with monetary gains with regard to fak shipments that is freight all kinds that is freight all kinds the airlines provide special tariffs for their usage at times some items are excluded by carriers or forwarders from the list of fak special rates or iatas list of dangerous goods the carriers or air carriers prefer containerized shipments on a number of grounds which are it lessens the number of individual pieces of cargo which can be handled in terminals it also helps in proper utilization of the volume capacity of the aircraft also the various equipments and mechanical handling systems can be used to maximize the advantage it leads to fast loading and unloading of aircraft also the cargoes are exposed to minimum exposure via climate conditions robbery pilferage and damages caused due to handling air cargo containers broadly fall into four necessary categories first air cargo pallets second contoured air cargo containers third lower deck containers and finally box type containers air cargo pallets these pallets are designed for the use with conveyor systems or both terminals and aircrafts the pallet is of low height and flat so that it is compatible and remains firm to the main deck of the cargo aircraft used to carry all cargo further the cargo is secured to the pallet by the usage of cargo nets which are squeezed over the cargo via use of tensioned straps contoured air cargo containers these containers may be open from one side covered by nets or metals or fiber glass remover removable doors which are competent of being sealed the type a covers which are contoured or semi structured are used to give guard that is protection for cargo and keep cargo within safe dimensions for loading in aircraft lower deck containers these containers are made to fit in the belly or the lower deck of the cargo spaces of the high capacity aircraft they are completely structured and completely enclosed the cargo can be laden in those containers which may be operational with shelves for lodging of small or irregularly shaped cargo the doors of these containers are made up of 
metal, fabric or their combination. Provide dunnage or shelving to prevent crushing of cargo at recessed end of lower deck container. Box type containers. These containers are developed in standard sizes leading to uniform shipping rates. They are used by freight forwarders to merge shippers cargo into one easily handled and rated unit. They are made up of fiberglass, wood, plywood, fiberboard, metal or combinations of these materials. Air or land containers. The beginning of the 747 class fighters has allowed additional and air dimension to the intermodal containers. The containers are of 20 to 40 feet of lightweight and lead to land and air transportation without rehandling or reloading. Now I will discuss about development of common user domestic air cargo terminals that is CUDCT. On 1st April 1995, the Airports Authority of India was formed under the AAI Act 1994 and interested with development and management of cargo terminals at both national and international airports. For more than 50 years, AAI has been dealing with international cargo, handling and storage at Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata and Mumbai before JVCs that is joint venture companies such as Dial or MIAL took operations in Delhi or Mumbai airport in 2006. Thereafter, in 2008 and 2010, firstly at Kolkata and then at Port Player, domestic cargo handling was started under AAI and has been a good achievement. AAI is also presently managing international air cargo terminals at Kolkata, Chennai, Amritsar, Lucknow, Guwahati, Coimbatore, Trichy and Mangalore airports and domestic cargo terminals at Coimbatore, Port Blair, Lucknow and Jaipur airports. Apart from the JVC managed air cargo complexes at Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru, Cochin, Hyderabad and Nagpur airports. Also AAI is in advanced stage for commissioning international air cargo handling facility at Madurai and Vizag airports. The AAI is also proposing to enter into domestic cargo handling operations in a fully fledged manner which can be termed as forward integration at far flung areas or regions for the development of air cargo growth and facilitating the trade in the process. The IATA estimates 2014-18 shows that there is a great scope for the growth of international freight industry at the CAGR that is compound annual growth rate of 4.1% also $6.8 trillion worth of goods which are equal to 35% of the total world trade by value is transported via air. It clearly shows that air cargo industry has a great path ahead. Also according to Tony Tyler, India will be the second fastest growing market with a CAGR of 6.8% to add 6,22,000 extra tons. Now I will summarize the entire module. International air cargo business is concerned with the transportation of goods by air on international flight both for imports of cargo into and exports of cargo out of a country. Logistics management in international airports means management of air cargo logistics activities in international trade and domestic trade. Air cargo logistics is a process which involves movement of materials and product from vendors right through to delivery at the customer's door, including moves through manufacturing facility, warehouses, third parties such as distributors. There is a strong relationship 
between growth in air cargo traffic and logistics infrastructure at the airport also availability of logistics infrastructure at competitive rate in the airports reduces cost of transportation which promotes international trade and improves global competitive uh, and improves global competitiveness of the airport and can contribute directly to global competitiveness of the country so the efficient management of components of the air cargo logistics chain in the airport is essential in international trade india is a huge market for the manufacturing industry and hence the scope of cargo is tremendous further only meager transportation of cargo occurs as compared to other means such as maritime AAI is also presently managing international air cargo terminals at Kolkata, Chennai, Amritsar, Lucknow, Guwahati, Coimbatore, Trichy and Mangalore airports and domestic cargo terminals at Coimbatore, Port Blair, Lucknow and Jaipur airports apart from JVC managed air cargo complexes at Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru, Kochi Hyderabad and Nagpur airports hence the sky is open for the cargo industry just need is to provide right opportunities to this sector through sustainable development of its stakeholders thank you and have a great future ahead